Hello and welcome to Health Matters. I'm Sherry Gallant with Alberta Health Services and today we're speaking with Kristen Griffiths. She's a dental hygienist with Alberta Health Services Population Health. And recently in April was, was Oral Health Month and we were talking and thinking a lot about the importance of oral health. But it's important all the time and it's really important that it starts very early in life, isn't it? Yeah, Sherry. One of the things we were trying to get a message across this year in Oral Health Month was the first visit by age one. Uh, really, they say six months after the first tooth comes in or at least by age one because dental disease can start that young. And so what we do here at the health units is we do a visual dental check and a fluoride varnish we provide information on nutrition, tooth friendly snacks, on falls prevention and injury prevention in teeth, and just help parents with any questions that they might have about their kids' teeth. I know if parents themselves have any phobias or bad feelings about dental issues, they may be worried that their children will be fearful. So how do you keep it from being a fearful experience when they first come in? Well, actually, that's one of the reasons why we do recommend the appointment so young is just to build up that dental rapport, a dental home, so that they're used to having someone look in their mouth and just for a happy, fun visit. They get a prize and a sticker and a new toothbrush, and we want to build so that when they grow up, they've had these positive dental experiences. And if they ever do need to have a filling done or a cavity fix, that that isn't the first time that they've gone to the dentist and had to experience kind of some of the more negative things. We want to build the happy experiences first, and then it can decrease their, their anxieties and as they get older. And comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So after that initial visit, that hopefully by, by age one, uh, um, what comes next sort of in the services that you provide? So Alberta Health Services uh, does go to over 70 schools in the South Zone and we do dental sealants in those first uh, first molars kids get around age six. And what a sealant is, is it goes into those deep, deep grooves and hills and valleys of the tooth and it puts a little plastic coating so that the toothbrush has a flat area to brush and so that sticky foods can't get stuck in there. That's uh -huh. one of the, the big biggest places that kids get their first cavity in adult teeth is in these deep grooves of those back those six back teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because it's, it's probably a little bit harder for them to brush It's too. really hard to brush. A lot of kids don't even know that they get these. Like they're the, we call them sneaky teeth because they oh. sneak in behind the baby teeth so they didn't lose a tooth. So a lot of parents and kids don't even know that they have this six-year molar. To reach back there yeah. and get them. Exactly. And these sealants can actually decrease their cavity risk by up to 70%. That's significant. Yeah. And with your big model there, <laughs> anything you can show so us? So we do bring this around to the schools as well. And we do education on brushing and all of the different surfaces of the teeth. Another thing that's important for parents to note is that most kids can't brush their own teeth until about age eight or until they can handwrite their name. Okay. The reason being, because because there's a lot of surfaces you have to get at. Most kids will brush the front teeth really, really good, mm -hmm. but they might miss the inside tongue side in the back, or these top front ones uh, from the inside can be really difficult. Yeah. And so we do bring the big tooth model around to talk about all the different surfaces. Another place most people miss is their tongue, because it's a little bit awkward to brush your tongue, but a lot of bacteria can harbor in the tongue, and a lot of bad breath or halitosis comes uh. from not brushing your tongue. And so we talk to all the kids about brushing the tongue, but always starting at the tip and working your way back until you're comfortable. Okay. But they do. They love the big uh, tooth model and the big toothbrush. Big choppers. Yes. We always tell people that that um, that these are perfect teeth and we don't often see what you think of as perfect teeth. Everyone has a different shade of tooth. They're, they come in different sizes and, and not everyone's got this like, you know, pearly whites. And so it's really important too to talk to kids about how, their self-esteem and, and, and letting them know that their teeth are, are a part of them that's unique, just like your hair color or your skin color. And that's a big thing for kids too, to and talk to them young the about. The importance of looking after them. Exactly. Keep them for life, right? Exactly. We always say till you're 100. So mm -hmm. the kids love that too. Which happens nowadays. Exactly. Exactly. More adults are living longer with their full uh, full teeth, the natural teeth, and we tell kids that, that you can as long as you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. Brushing, flossing, regular checkups and cleanings and just keeping good, good care of them. Awesome. So people are watching and they might live in different communities. Where is their go-to spot to find out more about what's available? So you can call your local health unit. We do go to over 13 health units in the South Zone. Um, we are based out of Lethbridge, but we travel all the way to Cartston and, and you know, uh, Tabor, Crow's Nest Pass. So call your local health unit, ask what programs they have, and and the dental professionals, we do travel to, to all those different communities. So That's fantastic. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you for watching.